Interest rate parity is the basic identity that relates interest rates and exchange rates. The identity is theoretical in nature and is from the assumptions imposed by economic models. There is empirical evidence that both supports as well rejects interest rate parity. Interest rate parity is an arbitrage condition which states that returns from borrowing in one currency, exchanging that currency for another currency, and investing in interest-bearing instruments of the second currency, while simultaneously purchasing futures contracts to convert the currencies back at the end of the investment period, should be equal to the returns from purchasing and holding similar interest-bearing instruments of the first currency. If the returns are different, investors can theoretically have a situation of arbitrage and make a risk-free profit. Let's take a look at our spreadsheet. Say we borrow yen. These numbers are all just made up, so these aren't true exchange rates. The spot rate for the yen is 0.2556 the forward exchange rate would be 0 0.2610. If we could borrow at a risk-free domestic interest rate of 4.12 and a foreign interest rate is 4.26, we're going to borrow that for six months. The transaction cost is 0.1% and the transaction size is 1 million units of foreign currency. This we can change to anything if you see down here, it actually propagates throughout the spreadsheet, so that's a nice feature. Okay, since, since the interest rate is for six months, we take the foreign interest rate and divide it by two, which was now 2.13. So we're going to borrow the foreign currency for the duration of the contract. We're going to convert that now to U.S. dollars. The exchange rate for the U.S. dollars is D6, the spot rate. So we're going to exchange that spot rate and we're going to end up with $3,912,363. We're going to take that U.S. dollar figure and we're going to invest it in Treasury bills for six months at a risk-free interest rate. We're going to make 80595 in interest. Our total principal and interest is now $3,992,958. Prior to the, the converting the money into U.S. dollars, we had a transaction cost for borrowing the currency which was $1,000, which is 0.1% of the million dollars. So the total yen borrowed, principal plus transaction cost, is 1,000,000 units of foreign currency. Six months from now, when the contract expires, we're going to cash in the money. We're going to redeem our treasury bills that were now valued at with the currency, with uh, interest and principal, three million nine hundred ninety-two nine fifty-eight. We're going to complete the forward contract at the exchange rate of a thirty-four. Excuse me. We're going to complete the exchange rate at the rate of 0.261, which is D7. And we're going to end up with this figure. We had to pay interest to borrow, which was that 2.13%. So we're going to, we, in effect, we're going to have to pay 21,300 units of foreign currency. So the total yen to repay will be the converted amount the interest and the 1,000 units of foreign currency for a transaction cost. So now we have two figures. We have what we receive from the transaction, which is 1,042,192, and we only have to repay 
22,300. So now we have an arbitrage profit of 19,862.